guys, what? Hey guys, welcome back to LS Family Fitness. I hope you're all having an amazing Monday. Today we are here to talk about stretching and relaxation to make sure that the rest of your week goes smoothly and then you can do it again on Friday just kind of to get rid of all the week's funk. It's a great video. It's super easy. I actually taught this on one of my Zoom classes earlier today. So just get your yoga mat out or your blanket, whatever you sit on. And let's get into this because I'm sure by Monday it is 3.30 here that if you're in the central or eastern time zones, you are ready for the day to be over and you need to get your stretch on and get your relaxation started. Now, this is great for a Monday evening, you know, while the hubby, the significant other, or the boyfriend, girlfriend watch the football game tonight, you can take some time for yourself and relax. You can put on some nice comforting music or you can have it perfectly silent you can do a little you can put on a little aromatherapy if that's what you use and just have a very nice monday evening so let's get started now we will not be laying down at the first part of this video but we will do henry says he's gonna come help and did you know petting a dog or a cat guinea pigs whatever rabbits weasels weasels ferrets sorry ferrets will help you be calm there is something really great and relaxing that helps lower blood pressure when you pet a pet of course mine just like to play but that's okay that's okay okay so what we're going to do is put your legs how it Henry, he was biting my blanket. Okay, so put your legs, if you want them straight, fine. If you want to do one bent, one straight, or both bent, up to you. I did want you to sit up straight because that will just help your spine elongate and it will help when you're all bent over, you're not getting good relaxation in the chest back or shoulders okay and we want you to relax I want you to just close your eyes you can put your hands up you don't have to and I want you to breathe in really as deeply as possible through your nose and blow out through your Now, I don't want you taking breaths too fast. We're not trying to hyperventilate and we're not trying to get dizzy. And after you've spent about two to three minutes just breathing, thinking about your breath flowing in and out, I want you to take that big breath in through your nose and bring your hands up overhead, follow with your eyes. Hold for just a minute, blow out, and bring your head back to center. Remember, we're sitting straight, our shoulders are back, our spine is nice and long. And we'll do this for two or three minutes. Okay, once you've done that for two or three minutes, I want you to put out one leg and bring the other leg in if you were sitting like this or, you know, we want one leg out, one leg bent, or just one leg over to the side, whatever works better for you. Then we're just going to reach our hands down as far as we can and pet our dog. If he comes, stick his head over and stick your hand down, bring your body towards your leg, the whole body, not just your head, not just hunched shoulders. I want you to bring your chest towards your leg. And you can go here, 
You can go here, wherever it's comfortable. Put a little bend in that knee. And then come back up. If you're getting an uncomfortable pull in your hamstring, which is the bottom of your thigh, you need to bend that leg a little bit more and lessen the fold. Don't fold quite to your leg. Oh. Henry, we're trying to be relaxing. Okay, do that two or three times, and then the other leg. And up, and two or three times, two or three minutes, whatever feels good. This is all about what your body is responding to. If your body is not responding to the stretches with your legs, if you're having a lot of cramping in your hamstrings, or your calves, or on top, don't do them. Stop. It's not about no pain, no gain. That's a fallacy. It's about relaxing, about stretching and loosening. All right. Next, I want you to come off of your blankets if you're sitting on a blanket or a pillow. If you're on your yoga mat, you're good. And I want you to, I want you to bring one leg up. It can be like that. It can be like that. And I want you to put one hand out on the leg with the long leg. And remember, long spine, it's tall. I want you to put the arm out. And then I just want you to reach the other arm over. And the stretch is on the side that you're reaching over. And I want ballet arms. And come back up and stretch both arms out, palms out, bringing your fingertips back towards you. That's stretching your wrist. And now again, arm over, ballet arm. And up, do that two or three times. Switch sides and don't forget after you come up, arms out, palms out, fingers back towards you like that and that's stretching those wrists. We hardly ever stretch our wrists. This is perfect for stretching your wrist. If you type all day, if you're an artist, if you play an instrument, whatever you do, if you work in yards all day, this is gonna make your wrist and hands feel better because it stretches them. Okay, and then do the other leg two or three times, two or three minutes. After you've done that, I want you to crisscross again and just put your head back. Straight shoulders back, put your head back and center and then chin to your chest, keeping your shoulders straight and back. And then center, and then to the left. Center to the right. Center, and do it all again. Okay, the last stretch we're going to do is we're going to latch our fingers inside out where our palms are towards the ceiling and just stretch. Oops, and don't break this hold. And then bring them down in front of you and push out and then bring them back up and push towards the ceiling and do it two or three times, two or three minutes. When you get done with that, we're gonna, can I have my blankie? You can get your blanket back. Henry, he thinks I'm playing. No, no. Stop licking your feet. And then what you're gonna do, it, no. These dogs, I swear they are children, especially my two. Okay, you're just gonna lay. Henry, 
you lay down, arms by your <clears throat> side, and that's all you're gonna do is just breathe. Now, at the beginning, if you want, you can lift your arms up over your head and then back up and down if you want. You don't have to. This is a good time to, if you want to put on some music, just something soft, very, very lightly in the background, or you could, oh, thank you for the kisses, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. So light music in the background will be fine at this point. Or you could just have it nice and quiet. Henry does not believe in relaxation. He wants two P-L-A-Y. Mm. Mm. And then just relax, set a time. Mm. Henry, no. Ow. Set, set, oh. set a timer for about 10, 15 minutes. Just focus on your breathing. Focus on letting all the stress of your day go. If you're going to have a hard week, focus on letting it all just, you know, melt away. And then you're ready for a nice hot shower and bed. And the great thing is you can do this on Mondays and Fridays and you will feel amazing. You'll be surprised how much better your week goes and how good you feel to start your weekend on Saturday morning after doing this on Friday. So guys, thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell on Friday. Get out from under there. No. Thank you for being here today, guys. I will see you on Friday.